They barely listened to the presentation. It was a courtesy. They haven't liked the work for months. Shit. Weren't you there? Well, I thought it was high time we embraced Bob. He was going to go. I talked him out of it. Roger Sterling let you watch his dog, and it ran away. I was happy to be just a small part of the show for the last two years. And during 13, Matt pulled me aside, Matt Weiner pulled me aside and said, you know, we have big plans for you next year. He seems very reluctant to hand out information like that to anybody. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt? Secretive? I don't, I think we're talking about the different guy. How much of a real heads up did you get for knowing how prominently Ted would be featured this season? Zero. Zero. They called and said, we want to make an offer. That negotiation process went on for a long time, which is not normal because normally it's like last minute trying to figure, get a pilot or, you know, they, we shoot in a week, you know, so they have to go through the paces very quickly. This took three or four months. My people are trying to get as much as they can and they're trying to give as little as they can, which is the norm. I had told my people, look, I'm taking this job, so just don't up. So get as much as you can, but then we're gonna say yes. And Matt called uh, my managers and said, do it. You trust me, it's, you wanna do this. This is, this is a big, big part. This is your agency. You're always going to need something. Don't let Frank Gleason make you question it. Well, it's Frank's agency too, Peggy. And I've been counting on his paintbrush and his negativity to balance me out for 20 years. I was happy to be any part of the show. And for the first five episodes, I was like, not really what we talked about. And then uh, episode six came out and I was like, oh. And I didn't see it coming. Like, I did not. I mean, I, I don't know how I didn't in retrospect, but it made perfect sense. I think Lizzie knew from the year before and knew for five episodes while we were shooting together and never even hinted at it to me. And when Six came out, she goes, have you read Six yet? I go, no, she goes, you wanna read that soon. I hate it when people say I'm nice. I was going to say strong. How do you feel sort of being another source of frustration for, for poor Peggy now? His latest <laughs> poor, poor, turn. Poor Peggy. <laughs> Poor Peggy. I, first of all, I love Elizabeth so much, and, and I love Peggy, too. I don't know, I, I'm excited to be that, any, any, you know, any time I get to work with her and be a part of the show, but uh, it's, I feel so bad for Peggy. She's had, it, she's had it rough. That scene, is it two episodes ago, where the end of this episode ends with her standing in the hallway, and just the door's closing, and she's with her bad hair, and she just stabbed her boyfriend and got dumped. <laughs> Best breakup ever, right? Yeah. Are you breaking up with me? There seems to be a three or four second moment in every episode that just goes crazy online the next day. Did right. you see the gif of Ted and Don in the plane with the sunglasses yeah. going? Yeah, oh, that was, I didn't know what a gif was up to that point. That was my first gif moment and I happened to be in it, which was, I, I was, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. You've been immortalized in a gif. I've been immortalized in a gif. I can, I can die a happy man. <laughs> <laughs>